Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today we will have a look at this puzzle here, which is the Radix. The Radix is a disassembly and reassembly puzzle and is manufactured by Hanayama in the usual Hanayama quality, made from metal and with this vintage look. The quality is quite nice, the tolerances are quite tight, which is absolutely necessary for this puzzle here. And it was invented by the Japanese inventor, puzzle inventor Akio Yamamoto. And actually I like it very much because it features a sequence of very complex and unusual movements. It contains three parts, one, two and three. And it is rated by Hanayama with the difficulty of um, I think five out of six. I have I have not uh, kept the box. Um, what's also interesting is radix means root in English, and also these two parts here look kind of a graft of a plant coming out of the ground. So it's a very nice looking puzzle, and how to solve it, I will show you after the spoiler break. Okay, here we go. So, first we start with this part here coming or taking it out of the ring piece here on the, on the ground. So, um, when we look at the parts in detail, we have one part with a flat piece down here and one with a piece here or where this end looks a little bit strange. And also we have this, I will call it ring with two holes. Okay. First, as I mentioned, we take out this part, which is easy, and then we take the ring and slide it inside of the other part, like this. And now we start with the first very complex move. We take this tip here of the part and put it into the ring that we are in this condition. And then we continue sliding this piece through the ring which looks like this and at the same time we take out the other part of the ring so in the end it looks like this which is really complex but it's not really not easier to explain and if we take one part out and you slide the other one in we now change the position of the ring we changed it because before it was here and we changed it, took it off this part, put it on the other part and now it's here on the other side. Then we will continue by take, putting the ring over here and rotate it that we are can get in this position over here. Otherwise, it can also happen that this one will point downwards. Then we need to put it over here, flip it and put it back again. Then we continue with this piece, move it over here and get the tip of this piece again inside of this ring. That it is like this. And then we will continue shifting it back again. So actually now it's in the more or less in the same position as before, but since it is easier to explain, I just um, took it off completely and put it on now again. So we get it on here and here you can now see how tight the tolerances are. We get stuck a little bit here, but nevertheless, I will push it um, through like this. You can also do it more smooth, but in my case now it got stuck a little bit. And then I will continue until it gets stopped here. And in this position, I will push the ring piece upwards here a little bit. And I will push here on the end that it slides through this ring piece like this. And now the parts are connected like this. So we actually flip them around. Now they are op opposite to each other. And from this position, we start now with this piece here, with the strange end. And we start sliding it in over here. Sliding it all the way through 
until the tip goes through the hole. So it looks now like this. And in this position we can take it out to the lower side of the ring. And now we keep going and flip it around in this direction by, you, by first pushing the ring on one side downwards like this. That's a very important move. And then we are able, when we push it downwards, we are able to move it over the ring and take the first piece out. So the last step to remove the ring is pretty easy. So we just need to slide it off here, this remaining part. This is how you disassemble the Hanayama Radix. To assemble it again, we start same as we finished during the disassembly with this piece here and also with the ring piece. So we take this piece over here and the ring, the Radix sign here and here the Hanayama sign pointing downwards. And then we start like this, assemble it to this piece Slide it all the way around to the, until it gets stopped here by the end. We take the other piece and same as we did before, we assembled it in this condition or in this orientation. Slide it over here, get the end piece from below through the hole like this. And then push it over and you will be able to get in this position again. Then we continue, we, I just flip it around because I'm used to do it like this. Then we continue here with the flat, with the part with the flat end. Push it in through the other part. And then without force this time, <laughs> we can get it through. Also, I will now move the ring inside of this part again, and now this super complex moves comes a uh, move comes again, where I need to get this part out, and this part stays inside. You see, I just move it around over here, get it out of this ring, but keep it at the same time on this part, and now I'm back in the initial condition. So as you have seen, it is very complex. The, the movements are very complex and also very difficult to explain. Anyway, I think it is very interesting. And um, you've seen these sequence of complex movements and I'm just enjoying doing this puzzle again and again because it's a really great one. Regarding the difficulty, I'm not sure. It's somewhere between three and four. Let's give it a, a four out of five. For me, it was difficult. It took me, I think, more than one hour, maybe one hour and 15 minutes for the disassembly. The assembly then was quite faster maybe 15 minutes but anyway i think the four out of uh, the five out of six from hanayama is correct i see it the, the same way four out of five on, in my rating and um i put you the link where you can buy this puzzle in the description if you're interested to do it if you like this episode give me a like join my facebook page subscribe to my youtube channel of course and as always, if you have any questions, complaints, wishes, ideas, let me know in the comments. And until next time, keep on puzzling.